Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today I'm going to show you how to cook some really nice strip steaks on the Watchman stove. If you're not familiar with the Watchman stove, it's like a rocket stove you may have already heard of. I'll show you some of the features uh, up and coming today. And this is also a collaboration with Sandy at Just Piddling Barbecue. Again, both of us are going to be doing steaks. Uh, mine's just going to be a basic, just a really uh, simple recipe for cooking some nice steaks. And also, uh, Sandy, he's going to be doing his a little bit different. I'm not sure exactly. I look forward to seeing what he's going to do. I know he's going to be doing something great. He's a good guy. Uh, if you're not familiar with his channel, please just go there and check him out. Got a link up here to his channel. Um, just let him know that Scott sent you, and I know you're going to enjoy what he does. So let's go ahead and get our couple steaks here prepared for this cook. All right, we've got a couple of nice strip steaks here that we got from Matador Prime Steak at MatadorPrimeSteak.com. Uh, these are some great steaks. You don't have all that uh, um, red dye that some meat have and all these hormones and so forth. These are pure, great pieces of meat. So what we're going to do is add us a little bit of olive oil. And uh, the olive oil we're going to be using today is just like a roasted garlic infused. So we're going to put a little bit of oil on both of these. Forgive me, I'm not using my gloves today, but I think we'll be just fine. I'm not cooking anything else but these. So these will be really nice. Put it all over because we're gonna get some seasoning all on both, all the sides as well. So, all right. Okay, and now the seasoning we're gonna be using is from Running Wild Foods. It's their steak gourmet season. Uh, this is some really nice flavors in this. It also has a natural smoke that we're going to get. We're going to put this on there liberally. These are about um, maybe three quarters of an inch thick. Not quite an uh, inch. Again, on the sides as well. Alright, just got just about got these seasoned up. Uh, the flavor again is amazing. I've tried it just on my finger and then also the smell of this seasoning is really great. I'll leave leave the information again on everything as always in the show more section of everything that I use here. Alright, we're gonna let these sit and let's get this uh, stove ready. Alright, here is the watchman stove. Uh, it's got a unique design to it. Let me tell you one thing right quick. This is one very heavy piece of equipment. It is solid steel. Uh, this is a new feature that they're putting on there where you've got two handles on each side. I highly recommend two people moving this. I just moved it myself. Probably gonna have a hurt back later on this afternoon, but uh, again, I just uh, this is a great feature to have and make sure you have a couple people to help you move this. Uh, right in here, is where you would feed your wood in, light it, and it sends the heat up here around your cook cooking surface. Down here is your ash catcher, which you can pull out. And there's also a little container that you can put below here. And once you pull it out, it drops the ash down in this container. Uh, right up here is your cooking surface, which can be lifted up. And I'll show you what I want to do with this. Is This is an insert that goes in. So... If you just want to use just this area here, which we're going to use today, we're going to put some charcoal in here and cook our steaks. And just put this back down in here. And then also, I've got a really heavy duty, nice griddle that you can put on top of this. And I'm sure we're going to be doing some smash burgers and some other things. So I'll show you that in some up other uh, videos. So stay with us. And um, I'm going to show you how we get everything set up up top and we'll get our steaks on. All right, here is the top here. We're gonna just take this lid and lift it back, which is your grill grate. We're gonna add us some charcoal. Put us a couple of fire starters in here. I think I'm gonna do two instead of just uh, one. I wanna go ahead and get this rolling because I am hungry. And the wife is and the kids are. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started. We 
they just get good and hot and we'll get our steaks on all right nice and hot can't keep your hand over it very long it's good and good we we'll use a little bit of this mesquite magic spray from best of the west this is some great stuff just kind of coat this grill with Get our steaks on. Nice sizzle. All right, it's been a couple minutes. We're gonna rotate these. Alright, a couple more minutes. We're gonna take these and rotate, flip these and rotate these back over. And the color you're seeing here is kind of dark, but it's basically the seasoning we put on there. It's not burnt, trust me. It's just a seasoning on there. Alright, we're gonna turn these now. Another two minutes. All right, we're gonna see where we are internally. 130. Yeah, 132. We're gonna get ready to take these off in just a second. I'm gonna go ahead and sear the sides. Let me pull this over to the side a little bit. All right, we're gonna let these rest a little bit and then we'll cut into them. All right, here's our steaks. Again, if, you, or if you're thinking this is burnt, it's really not. That's the seasoning on there. So we're gonna cut in and I'll show you. Let's choose one of the thicker ones. The grain is kind of running this way. So I think I'll cut it across the grain for you guys. So you can see. Let's see, this is the thinner part here. So let's see what we're looking at. That's basically medium well there, but let's just cut it down here and see where we're at. The thicker part. Okay, now that's, it's still medium well. We're, let's go with the, yeah. We're looking at medium well, but let's try this other one over here and see what we're looking at too. I'm, I have a feeling it's probably the same. Yeah. Now that one's a little less. Got a little color there. This is probably more, a little less than medium well. Let's try it. I'm sure it's going to be great. All right, I'm going to get one of these that are a little less done. You know, again, it's it's a, it's it's close to medium well, maybe a little less, but hey, you, know, you can't always get it perfect. But I'm sure it's going to taste great. I look forward to trying. It smells awesome. Mmm. Mmm. That is some great tasting steak there, bud. Let me tell you. Matador Prime Steaks never, never fails when it comes to quality. And that seasoning from Running Wild is great. Got a little fat on this. Super juicy, great flavors. Highly recommend the Watchman Stove. Um, just fairly new to me, so that's probably another reason I'm getting used to it. But overall, it does a fantastic job. We're going to be doing some more cooks on it. So the more I do, the better I get. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate you for watching. Be sure to go and check out Sandy at Just Piddling Barbecue. Looking forward to seeing what he's got going on. Thank you so much, guys. God bless.